We are Shauna and Carol. Start again because it just did the live here. Hello, beautiful <laughs> ones. We are Shauna and Carol. How's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> Um, so for those of you that know us and have maybe watched a few of these, um, you do know that our internet can be a bit slow, which means these can lag a bit. Oh, that just jumped. Okay. So it looks like we're on a seven to eight second delay. Oh, fun. Okay. So good to know. Oh, Pam. I'm okay. Great. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, perfect. So it looks like we're started. It looks like it's coming through now. Great. Perfect. Ooh, we're at nine frames per second oh, this week. Oh, goodness, still. It's better than three <laughs> last week. Our right. internet is slow. We're doing our best to try and get it all focused to this one computer. Um, so do us a favor. Do let us know in the comments uh, if we're coming in okay, if you can hear us, if the video is coming through fine. And while you're doing it, uh, let us know where you're tuning in from because it's always fun to yeah. see where people are watching us from. I see that there's two people on right now. Not sure if I can actually see who they are. Someone told me there was a way I could, so I'll try and play around with that. Um, and since there's two of us doing this uh, Learning Live, that's the new name we came up for our Facebook Lives, uh, we wanna make sure that we don't get off track and we don't take yep. up too much time. So we do prepare quite a lot of notes, so you will see us referencing those throughout the Facebook Live. Right. Okay, so tonight we're here to talk about emotions, vibrations, and frequencies. Yes, we are. And we want to do this uh, because we want to help you learn how they're connected mm -hmm. and how you can take control of yours with tonight's powerful knowledge. It's nice to be here with all of you tonight. Okay, we've got a few comments. Perfect. It's Hi, started. Cindy. Loud and clear. Oh, Hello, perfect. Ladies. Thank you. And Pamela. Pam says hi. Good. Perfect. She can hear us. Good. Okay, awesome. All right, so for those of you that just joined in this Facebook Learning Live, we're talking about emotions and vibrational frequencies, how they can impact each other, and how we can take control of them to enhance our lives. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about this now, as it can be an emotionally challenging time of year. Yeah. So um, give us a thumbs up or comment with a yes or no, uh, and let us know if you've ever experienced the challenge of emotions, the challenging emotions that you get from feeling down, feeling frustrated, feeling blue, feeling annoyed. That's us. And not knowing how to get yourself out of that frump. Mm -hmm. So we know we have definitely had these feelings. Um, from the point of technical challenges, the past couple of weeks have been really quite a test for us. Um, we've been frustrated upset, disappointed, overwhelmed, and even exasperated with our website not functioning, which resulted in us not being able to launch it on time. Yeah. The look on look of disbelief on Shauna's face when she went to our pages only to find a blank black screen. Mm -hmm. And then to another page only to find the header, but no text. Yeah, none of it. And so I was thinking like, where is our six months of work? All the special effects, all of this painstakingly created content, yep. not there. I thought for sure she was going to cry. But being the trooper that she is, <laughs> she started the step-by-step -step examination of each page to see what was still available and what was missing. Then backed everything up again. Every bit of information we had written down in our blogs. Absolutely. So... Um, then came the a midnight chat that we had. We started talking about, well, if our website's not ready, what do we do for our next Facebook Live if we can't get it fixed in time? But there didn't seem to be much of a point of talking about it at that time of night. Uh, so we said goodnight and went to bed. <laughs> but my mind just wouldn't shut down. So at one o'clock in the wee hours of the morning, I found myself lying awake thinking about our whole situation. Mm -hmm. Then thinking about the challenges, sadness, and disappointment that so many people are feeling right now. With COVID and the holiday traditions, it is interrupting. And then I thought about everyone who is feeling emptiness due to loss of a loved one, a relationship, yeah. maybe an opportunity gone away, or a financial crisis. And then I thought about everything that just didn't feel right in the world. Yep. Globally, locally, personally. With all these thoughts twirling around in my head, my sleepless mind, I should say, <laughs> the words frequency and vibration 
stood out. And I knew I just wanted to do a Facebook Live about the importance of keeping our frequencies and vibrations high in order to stay healthy, not just in our body, but in our mind as well. So at 1.30 in the morning, my wee little fingers were typing away as I put thoughts to paper, so to speak. So tonight we're going to share how emotions and vibrational frequencies are connected and ways you can intentionally increase your own vibrations. Uh, and this is all so that we can be taking back our power when we feel powerless. Mm -hmm. And so I see that a few other people said, like, they've also been through some of these emotions and stuff too. So yeah, we can kind of resonate with that. And thank you for the oh no's about <laughs> our website. We are going to be able to figure it out. Oh, I see Gina has just joined Hi, us. Gina. Hi, Gina. Hi, Gina, <laughs> welcome. Please so. do us a massive favor. If you think this topic would be helpful or interesting to anyone you know, anyone in your community, while you're watching Facebook Live right now, click that share button, set your share to public, type shared in the comments below, yep. and we'll put you into a draw that we do each week on our Facebook Live where we pick a winner and you win a cool prize. Each week we pick someone who has shared the Facebook Live and set their share to public so that we can see that you did share this. We'll put you in the draw and announce the winner next week. Exactly. So let's see who our winner is from the last live that we did. Okay. There we go. Drum roll, she says. Yeah, I love the drum roll. <laughs> All right. Who do we got here? So our share shout out winner is Cheryl Jones. Awesome. Congratulations. So you're getting a holiday edition vanilla mint lip balm. So you can moisturize and protect your lips with this all natural lip balm infused with vanilla and peppermint essential oil. I love doing the Vanna thing. That's so cool. Okay. Join us in congratulating her in the comments below. We say thank you for sharing last time. We truly appreciate you. We can't do what we do without you, your valuable shares, your comments, your engagement, your views, and your love. Exactly. And we did notice that we did have a few uh, other shares that weren't set to public. So when they're not set to public, we actually can only see that like there was this many shares, but we can't actually see the names. So we can't put your name in the draw. So do remember when you share the video uh, on Facebook, make sure it says public, not just shared to friends or close friends, because then we can't actually yeah, enter it. So okay. Uh, Cheryl, send us an email. We do need some information to send out your prize. So email us at Shauna at purepowerofnature.com with the subject line, I'm this week's chosen oh, one. And let us know where you would like your prize shipped so we can get it sent out to you. Congratulations again, Cheryl, on winning. And good luck to next week's winner. Okay. And if you haven't yet, please click the share button now and make it public. Good. All right. So let's dive into today's topic. Mm. If this is your first time with us, it is really great to meet you. We are Shauna and Carol, co-founders of Pure Power of Nature. This is a place to be if you're a health-minded soul like us, wanting to learn how to enhance your well-being through the pure power of natural alternatives easily and cost-efficiently. As educators by trade, we believe knowledge is power, and our goal is to share well-researched knowledge with you to make it easy for you to either begin or enhance your journey of living a natural, low-tox life. Anything that we learn that brings into our lives and help, everything that we learn and bring into our lives that helps us to continually enhance our wellness, we want to make it easy for you to learn about and to implement should you choose to do so. Yeah. And we won't share any information on our website or on these learning lives until we can find multiple reliable sources for that topic. Because we know you all have really busy lives and that you want to know the knowledge that you're getting. Well, that, that information is well-researched. So that's what we aim to do for you. So first, let's start with a little science. And before that science, I just want to say a thank you to Sandy because she's oh, let us know you, that she Sandy. shared it already and she commented thank about that. You. Thank you. Now on to science. Now on to science. Okay, so we're not going to go too heavy in the science. Don't worry, just a little bit of throwback. So you may remember from biology class, learning that our bodies are made up of cells, mm -hmm. which have molecules uh, that are made up of constantly moving protons and electrons. Now, if you think back to chemistry class, you might remember that protons and electrons, along with neutrons, 
um, are all parts of atoms and that everything is made up of atoms and these are in constant motion. This motion results in what's called an electromagnetic field or a force field of energy. And in our bodies, that electromagnetic field is what each of our cells is emitting. So there's actually types of cameras that can photograph a person's electromagnetic field. Ultimately, our bodies are constantly vibrating. And one way to measure the cellular energy or the cellular vibration is to measure the number of vibrations per second, which calculates the frequency. And frequency is something we measure in Hertz. Another vibration you might remember from school that can also be measured in Hertz is sound. Mm -hmm. But did you know that your thoughts can also have vibrations? Ooh, all right. So let's talk a little bit more about some research. So the late <clears throat> Dr. Bruce Tanio developed a calibrated frequency monitor, a CFM, to measure the frequency of plants. That's what he was looking at, the plants. Um, he did this when he was the head of the Department of Agriculture at Eastern Washington University. He also used the CFM to measure the frequencies of humans, mm -hmm. foods, essential oils, and disease. And here is a summary of what he found. He found that a healthy human body has a frequency between 62 and 68 megahertz, and that a healthy human brain has a frequency between 71 and 90 megahertz. Like your pad, she says, I'm really vibrating. Yes. Yeah, you are really <laughs> yes, vibrating. Yes, very good. <clears throat> okay, when you have an illness, an infection, your frequency drops to 52 to 58 megahertz. And when you begin to die, your frequency is 25 megahertz. Whoa. Also, the frequency of processed canned foods is, wait for it, zero megahertz. Zero. Zero. Yeah. Fresh but produce has a frequency between 10 and 15 megahertz, depending on how fresh it is. The frequency of fresh herbs is between about 20 and 27 megahertz, and dry herbs have a frequency between 12 and 22 megahertz. Mm. In addition to his work with physical things, he discovered with his CFM device how thoughts can influence our frequencies yeah so now without naming any names let us know in the comments below with just a simple yes or no have you ever been in a situation where you've met up with some friends and one of them was being a real downer the whole time and after you were away from the situation you started to realize that being around that one person made you actually feel kind of lousy you kind of felt like your energy had dropped or yeah. been zapped. Well, Miss, well, Dr. Tanio discovered that it isn't just a psychological feeling. It nope. is an actual physical effect. Physical effect. Because he discovered that negative thoughts lowered a person's frequency by 12 megahertz. That's right. There's science behind the idea that hanging around negative people can make you feel badly yourself. Mm. On the flip side, he discovered that positive thoughts raise a person's frequency by 10 megahertz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is interesting to note that negative thoughts have more impact than positive ones. Yep. So that negative energy can really bring you down even when you're focusing on being positive. Mm -hmm. It is just so powerful in the wrong way. Yeah. So we got a lot of people agreeing, yep, they've, they've had that experience. You've been around that one person who just... You can feel the vibe going down yep. and yep. So um, another discovery that he did find though is that prayer and meditation increase your frequency level by 15 megahertz. So that, that gave it an extra bump. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what things should we be aware of mm -hmm. when we are trying to raise our frequency? Right. So the first thing really to think about is the company that we keep. Uh, as we saw with Dr. Tanio's research, the people we decide to surround ourselves with can have a direct impact on our own frequency. Yeah. Mm. Then we have our thoughts. Ooh, those yes. negative thoughts such as discouragement, sadness, anger, fear, all have a negative impact on our, on our vibrational frequency. Absolutely. One you might not think of is actually the music that we listen to. The vibration of the music along with the message that's in the lyrics can really impact our frequency. Mm. And then the things that we look at. Yep. When we look at programs that are negative in nature, our brains accept that as reality and our vibrational frequency is affected. Yep. 
And then there's our environment. So disorganization, clutter, a bit of hoarding, whatever environment we surround ourselves with actually affects our vibrational frequency. I know I sometimes if I'm in a room that's cluttered, I, I that disorganization, Ooh, I feel the impact. Feel bad. Yeah. And then what we say, if we tend to speak negatively about things and mm -hmm. people, it will adversely affect our vibrational frequency. It'll bring us down. And I see people commenting saying, yep, well, Pam's, Pam's got to meditate more. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Get that frequency up. That's awesome. Yeah. A lot of these things, you don't realize the impact that they're having. Yep. So how can we take control of our emotions by actually controlling our vibrational mm -hmm. frequency? Well, like you already do a lot of things to help your mood, AKA increase your frequency. Mm -hmm. Tell us in the comments, what are some of the ways that you help bring yourself up? Yeah, there's, it's likely you already do a bunch mm -hmm. of things. You might not think of it as I'm doing this to bring up my frequency, okay, but, but you do things to bring up your mood. So tell us what those are. Yeah. And while you're writing, cause we know there's a bit of a <laughs> delay as always, uh, we're gonna share some of ours and then we're gonna look at the comments and see some of yours. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's. Okay. Well, first ideas. of all, we have to be aware of the people we surround ourselves with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everyone has a bad day. That's, that's a given. Okay. Yeah. But if someone is continually bringing you down, yeah, it might be time to reevaluate that relationship. Mm -hmm. It is important to surround ourselves with people who lift us up, yep. who believe in us Absolutely. and who make us feel better about ourselves. Totally. Um, being aware of our thoughts and also our self-talk because mm. like we've learned thoughts have that energy, good or bad, and only we can control what thoughts and self-talk goes on in our own minds. So we need to take time to actively practice positive thinking and what we call self-love talk yeah. uh, daily. And when something negative does slip into our minds, we mm -hmm. can acknowledge it and then we can work to sort of reverse okay. it and move on. See, so Sandy hums and sings. Oh, nice. And Pam, Pam meditation. meditation. Very yeah. good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Now, really listen and know the music that you are exposing yourself to. Yeah. It is important to us to pay attention to the lyrics of the music and how it makes us feel. Even music in the background can influence our frequency. Yeah. You might not even really be thinking you're listening to it, but it's there. It's there. It's totally there. Um, then searching out things to look at that make us smile. Yeah laugh and feel yeah. happy. These will help us vibrate at a higher frequency. And there is science there behind the idea of laughter being a great medicine. So we should take some daily. <laughs> Controlling our environment. We all get a bit disorganized from time to time. Yeah, I do. What the heck? But knowing that it can affect our frequency is the first step. By improving our environment and maintaining a clean and calm environment, we can raise our vibrational frequencies. Totally. And then speaking positively, uh, it's really important for us to work to change our pattern of speaking to eliminate any habit of negative speaking that we might have. You know, taking responsibility for our choices in life, avoiding dramas and victimizing ourselves will go a long way in raising our vibrational frequency. And I was just looking at Sandy's. Yes, I did not know that, Sandy. I didn't know that John Lennon's song, Emotion, uh, I imagine, 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 was at 528 hertz. Nice. That's I like nice that. I like that vibration. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Good. That's yeah. a great thing to know. Thank you for sharing And Pam that. plays music. Hmm? My house is very silent. Yes, my house is very silent. Too. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, you hear people say, like, when, especially if they live on their own or spend time on their own, yeah. they like to have noise in the background. And so, yeah, depending on that noise. Yeah. Oh, and Gina says going for a hike in the forest. Yeah, connecting yeah, with for nature. Sure. Yeah. That's amazing. I really needed to learn that. Positive thoughts, absolutely. Yeah, for We're, sure. We all need to speak really nicely to ourselves. Uh, we probably speak harsher to ourselves than we do any other person we know. Uh, yeah, that's we got to totally be kind. True. So these are all wonderful ideas that we have and the suggestions are great. Yeah. Thank but you for sharing. what more can we do to raise our vibrational frequency? Well, in addition to these things, um, another incredible thing that Dr. Tanio discovered about frequencies was that when people inhaled therapeutic grade essential oils, their frequencies went up and quickly too. Mm -hmm. The results of an increase to their vibrational frequency was also noted with topical applications of essential oils. Yeah. 
So adding essential oils to things like your bath salts, maybe using them during meditation. Think meditation already helps. And then you add the oil, boom, really going up. Yep. Or putting them just in your diffuser, like we've got going tonight. All of that can help increase your frequency. Mm. And and Cheryl, hi, Cheryl. Oh, hi, Cheryl. You've joined us. Great. And she enjoys doing brain games on the computer. Ooh, yeah, nice. that's, that's a good fun. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the first song that we'll play. Oh, very good, Pam. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. I think we're all going to be playing that I'm song I'm going to play that as soon as we're finished. <laughs> okay, so remember Dr. Tanio looked at frequencies of food, yep. herbs, and plants. Yep. Well, each essential oil has its own unique frequency, from the lowest, which is basil at 52 megahertz, to Idaho blue spruce at 580 megahertz. And what did Sandy say, the one? So, so yeah, up in the 500s was John Lennon's song, and yeah. then this top essential oil is up there in the 500s. Yeah. Imagine listening to that song and, and smelling then... Idaho blue spruce at the same time. Ooh. Boom! You just be like... <laughs> vibrating <laughs> off the walls. I think we should all try it and get back to each yeah. other next week. Try, try that. Put that song on. Smell the Idaho <laughs> blue spruce and tell us next week how great you felt. Yeah. Um, after that, in terms of like the top sort of <laughs> vibrational oils, um, is then Australian blue cypress, which is at 530 Perfect. megahertz and followed by rose essential oil at 320 megahertz. And rose is my always go-to oil yeah. for sure. Some other essential oils you may be familiar with are frankincense at, four, at 107, no, I got my numbers all mixed up, hold up, at 147 megahertz, yep. lavender at 118 megahertz, German chamomile at 105 megahertz, and peppermint at 78 megahertz. There are many, many, many more oils with all very beneficial frequencies. If we just think about that for a minute, we're talking about things in like, you know, 100, 300, 500, and you compare those frequencies to what we learned earlier, which was that the healthy human body's frequency is between 62 and 68. So you can imagine that how just a small little smell of a high frequency oil can make such a big impact on how you feel. That's true. By raising our vibrational frequencies, we can help overcome negative challenges that we encounter in our lives. Mm -hmm. If we lift ourselves up, we can lift others up. Absolutely. What a positive contribution we can make to the world. So after hearing all of this, we would love to know from those of you that already use essential oils, and it looks like a lot of you on here live do, but also those that watch the replay, do add your comments in. What is your go-to oil for uplifting your mood? Tell us in the comments. And for those who haven't used essential oils this way, send us a message so that we can share with you more about the oils to consider as we have only touched on a very few. Yeah, we've just mentioned a few of them. Mm -hmm. So we'll give you a minute to, to tell us about your go-to oils if you've got one. Uh, we know there's a bit of delay and we'll keep moving on and then come back and check what you said. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait. Yeah. No. Okay. We hope you enjoyed this week's learning live mm -hmm. about emotions, vibrational frequencies, and how they have come to play or how they have come away with a feeling of empowerment. Mm -hmm. Before we start to wrap up this Facebook Live, we want to open up any questions or comments you might have. Yeah, if there's anything, any follow-up or any other fun suggestions about great music, that's always great. Yeah, I think that, I think Cheryl says she's gonna do it. I think we're all gonna do that. I think this whole, it's, if only our internet was strong enough, I would be Googling it right now and playing it for you guys. Yeah. But I think we would completely freeze up if we tried to do that. <laughs> But we are at 12 frames per second. I'm impressed. Is, that's not bad for us, so that's good. Um, so we know there's a bit of a delay, so while you're typing to us uh, any questions or comments or as well your favorite uplifting oil, let's congratulate again our share shout out winner um, from Cheryl the Jones. last one, Cheryl Jones, congratulations. Uh, we say thank you for sharing. We truly appreciate you. We can't do what we do without you, your valuable shares, your comments, your engagement, your viewership, and your love. So yep. Cheryl, Send us an email. We do need some more information to send out your prize. You can email us oh. at Shauna at purepowerofnature.com, subject line, I'm this week's chosen one, and let us know where you want your prize shipped to, and we can get it sent out to you. Okay, and before we do anything else, Gina, a blend of lemongrass, lemon, lemon. and black pepper. Oh, you are Ooh. going to have to give us the exact ratios. Yeah, the exact ratios. I want to see that the, sounds good. The, drop, the, the drop part. 
Yeah, and then see what all of their Cheryl, frequencies yes. are. That'd be neat. And then what else do we have here? Let's just go back for the Cheryl's is Ylang Ylang. Oh, yeah, mm. that's a great one. Sandy loves geranium and, and cedar, cedar wood. wood. Yeah, nice. It took me a while to love cedar wood, but yeah, I do now. I find most people like they love it or hate it at the beginning, yeah. but usually flip to to liking it. Oh, Cheryl's singing it in my head right now. Very if good. only this was a Zoom and we could unmute people, Cheryl, you could be doing your you debut singing, singing career right here on. Your power of nature is learning live. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, for anyone who is waiting until the end or joined us late, if you found value in this, click that share button, type shared in the comments below, and we'll put you in the draw that we do each week on our Facebook Lives where you can win a cool prize. Each week we pick a winner who has shared the Facebook Live, set their share to public, public. so we can see that you yeah. shared it and put it into the draw that we will announce next week. So, was there any yeah, other questions comments. or comments? Some yeah. congratulations to Cheryl. Yeah. Very nice. Very good. Awesome. Also, for those who haven't yet, if you watched last time's Time. live, it wasn't <laughs> last time, week because yeah. we did take that week break with all that was emotionally going Ooh. on. Um, but if you haven't yet got your copy of our new free Cooking with Essential Oils e-guide that we put together, and it's a holiday edition one, so you'll want to grab it before the holidays. Um, be sure to grab a copy. You can get that. Wait, I'm going to try this thing again where I get to try and put um, put the it up on the screen. So let's see if it happens. <laughs> she says that would end everything really fast. Yeah. <laughs> she had to sing. <laughs> um, okay. Cards open, but did it pop up on our screen? No. Hmm. Is Ready? it that delayed? Maybe. Weird. Okay. Well, I tried. Anyways, I'll, I'll tell you the website link because it doesn't seem to be popping up for some reason, but hey, that's all right. Okay. So the website link to go to is www.purepowerofnature.com forward slash. Oh, now it popped up. It's okay, just really that's delayed. Good. Okay. Well, that's Holiday fine. cooking. So if you go to that one, you can fill in your uh, details and you'll be able to download a copy of that e-guide, which we wrote. Yes, we did. Very proud of, and it's got some great holiday recipes into it. So, even though we might not be able to get together with people over the holidays, you can still cook up a really nice feast for yourself at home. Sandy's got it. You got it already, Sandy. Awesome, perfect. Well, not only did we write it, we also taste tested every recipe. Yes, yes, we yeah, did. We tried so them. All. We wouldn't send it to you if we didn't think it tasted good. Okay, and Gina says she saw the pop up. Perfect. Good. Okay. okay. I'll close it now so it doesn't take over the whole screen. Woo, perfect. All right. Okay. We can't wait to see you next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Yes. Have a wonderful week. And for those of you who celebrate it, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. We'll Bye. see you next week. Bye. That's <laughs> it's good. We just can't stop. <laughs> no, it still says her.